Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to solve one more problem of classical mechanics by Goldstein, which is going to be derivation 2 of chapter 1. My name is Ricardo, I'm a professor at the Physics Institute of the Federal University of Goiás. So we need to prove that the magnitude r of the position vector for the center of mass from an arbitrary origin is given by the equation m squared r squared is equal to m, the summation over i of mi ri squared, subtracted by 1 over 2, double summation over i and j of mi mj r ij squared, this quantity that we are going to show what it is soon. So first, what is r? What is this vector r? The vector r defines a point known as the center of mass of a certain system of particles. So this is a definition. And if we write this value, this mass, on the other side of the equation, we will get m multiplying this vector r being equal to this summation here. And if we square this equation, we obtain m squared r squared which is exactly what we are trying to prove, what it is, being equal to this summation multiplied by another summation. But we need to distinguish between the, the, the index of this summation and of this other summation. And we already discussed that in this introduction to the index or tensor notation. Uh, if we do not distinguish the indices, we will not have the crossed terms. For, for instance, uh, R1 dot R2 and so on. So if you use only the same index, I and I, for instance, then you will not have the crossed terms. So that's why we need to, to use that. This is a sequence of terms and this is another sequence and we need to multiply each term of each sequence by each other. So, as a result, we have a double summation over i and j of mi, mj, and then the scalar product between ri and rj. Okay, but what is this quantity rij? The vector, this vector is the difference between Ri and Rj for the particle I and, and, and the particle J. So this is the vector Rij. And if we square this equation, we have the quantity that we are looking for here, Rij squared, and it, it is going to be Ri squared plus Rj squared minus 2 times ri dot rj. And we, we want this scalar product. So I'm going to write rewrite this equation as the product, the scalar product ri dot rj being equal to <clears throat> 1 over 2 of ri squared plus rj squared minus uh, rij squared which is this equation here. So now we need to use this equation inside this, this one and then try to obtain, try, try to prove this equation here. So m squared r squared is going to be 1 over 2 and the summation, the double summation over i and j of mi mj multiplying r i squared, which is this first term here. The second one is uh, similar to this one, but uh, instead of r i uh, squared, it's going to be r j squared. And the third one, minus 1 over 2, double summation, m i m j r i j squared. Here, we are writing that i is different from j, just to emphasize that, because in case it is equal, then this term is going to be zero. Rij, by its definition, is going to be zero. There, there is no difference between 
the, the, the vector in uh, itself. So, now, let's rearrange these terms here and try to find the solution. The first one is going to be 1 over 2, and then, since here we have a double summation, one is over i and the other one is over j, and we have only this mass with the index j. So, we can write it as the summation over j of mj, multiplying the summation over i of mi r i squared. And we will do uh, an equivalent thing in this other term here. We have only this term with the i index, so we have this uh, summation over i of mi, and then the summation over j of mj rj squared. And we will just repeat this last term here. Okay, so we can solve the summation of mj over all possible values of j. This is exactly the total mass of the system, which is capital M. So the result of that is M, and we write it over 2, multiplying this term here, and we do the same here. The summation of mi over all possible values of i, it is the, the mass of the system, the total mass. So this will result in m over 2 and multiplying this term. And again, we just repeat this last term. Okay, so now we have a summation of this quantity, the mass of each particle multiplied by this quantity, r uh, i squared, and uh, here we do have the same thing, but with a different index. But there is no issue on the index, it could be any letter. The quantity is the same, and it is being summed over all possible, possible values of i or j, I mean, all possible uh, particles, all particles uh, on, on, on the system. So, this quantity is the same of this quantity, and we then can write it, since this is m over 2 and m over 2, this is going to be just m. m of this quantity, let's use the index i, we could use a different index, and the summation over i of m i are i squared, and again, we just repeat this term. And this is exactly what we were looking to prove. We just proved this equation.